I've added some more blocks to make a maze. And what I want to do now is, is test what happens when I play it. So I've got my Pac-Man here, I've got my little walls. When I click on play, the version that comes up loses all the grid lines. And here we go. So and I've got the blocks making up the maze. And if I push up, the Pac-Man goes up that way and then along. And so far, so good. However, there is a problem. And that is that I have to get the Pac-Man lined up exactly right with the spaces. Otherwise, he sort of catches on the edges. And this can make it a right pain to try and play the game. So, and in fact, there comes a point where actually sort of I can't quite get him quite. I'm going to back down that way. I'm going to get him lined up on this one. Maybe a little bit more that way. No, he just won't line up. Now, obviously, this is going to make the game very, very difficult to play. So, what we need to do here is we need to make sure that the Pac Man is sitting right in the middle between the two spaces. And this is going to make the game easy to play because what we don't want is a game which is very, very difficult to play. Now to do this, I need to go back to the Pac-Man himself um, and I need to go to each of these and add a simple instruction. The simple instruction I add is align yourself to the grid. Now that means the Pac-Man can only be in jumps of 16. He can't be, for instance, he couldn't move across the grid to position 17, 17. Because they would say, no, no. You're aligning to the grid. The grid is 16 by 16. If you remember, that's when we set it up. So he'll go from either be at 16, 16, or 32, 32, or 48, 48, or 48, 32. So he'll jump in jumps of 16, which is good because if we look in the room that we've got, go back to the room, that's exactly how wide apart each of these is. So he can either be here or here or exactly in this space here. Okay, so I'm saying he's got to lie exactly on the three points there to get him into the right place. And it's just going to make the game easier to play. Okay, so that's going to line him up exactly where I want him to be. So let's have a try at that and see what happens. So I'll go back to here. So I want to put another one onto here. And I want to to line up with a 16 by 16 grid. I was going to go through and drop them all in place. And it's literally, don't need to put any more instructions on here. They just make this, need to make sure that every single one of these has got this in place. Pop him in. All the way down. So every time he moves, he can't be stuck halfway across a square and hopefully if I go up all of these these have now all got the align to grid instruction on them okay so let's try playing that okay and play so it goes up You can actually see him moving slightly to one way or the other. So this now means that if I go back down to here, he, when he stops, it's much, much easier to direct the Pac-Man through the grid. It's a little bit of, still a little bit of a job, but it's, it's much easier because it's only now jumping on small amounts. So now I've got a Pac-Man who goes up and down. And through the grid now because what I've got to make sure is and I've got a mistake here I've actually not left a space big enough for the pattern to go through so that particular section of the maze I need to go back and change so you want to sort of go all the way around your maze and check you actually can get the Pac-Man into all of the spaces in the maze 